This TikTok thruple forces their autistic child to be on camera and then proceeds to bully her in front of everyone. Like if I came to your I just told you what to do, huh? Would you like that? Really well. Please shut up. Emma, please shush. Yes. We're very yes. memorable people. Look forward, please. Thank you. And Mademoiselle Emma, the gala daughter, is 17. My kid, my yeah. adopted kid. This is my boyfriend. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Unhinged Curtis Price channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about degenerates once again. Yeah, they come from TikTok or somewhere. They're two sisters known as the Gala Sisters, and they suck. Now, these 40-year-old sisters actually identify as asexual lesbians, and they're dating a much younger guy who's only 23 years old. The same age as me. Oh, God, no. What do you think about that, Jerry? Got anything to say today, pal? Come on, buddy. Say something. Yay! Yes, that is the second time I've done that, so what? I just like riding Jerry. Anyway, these three weirdos, they're not the problem, even though they are a bit strange. The real problem comes in is when you find out that the Gal sisters actually have a daughter. Rachel being the mother and Ree being the auntie. And according to them, their daughter is extremely autistic. You know, that's the quotes coming in right there. They said that. You know, I'm not calling someone autistic. I, why, why would I do that? And just the way that they speak to her on camera and the way that they treat her, like, she's autistic, pal. And you're forcing her to be on camera. That's no way for a child to live. So let's just have a look at this video real quick, you know, just a little teaser for what we're in for today. I want to have a taste of the Gala sisters. I'm talking about. It's time to go. Jay the Marquis Evans. It's bad. Don't yeah. worry, kiddo. It's coming soon. Mm -hmm. It's coming soon. That's okay. Bad. Right. Mm -hmm. Look, we right. all actually really get we along need to get really her well. Back. Please shut up. Except for the teenager. Emma, <laughs> please shush. <laughs> Stop. No, and Christmas is all about giving. Giving. This morning, or maybe it was yesterday, I don't remember. This you were, morning. Shh, quiet, let Nancy tell her story. You were playing When You Wish Upon a Star. What all this happened? Shut up, coward, with your fake tears, your crocodile tears, you coward. Have some of that! Now, it's important to mention here that their daughter is actually non-verbal. So she's, you know, she's autistic and she's non-verbal. So to tell someone who's got autism and who is non-verbal to be quiet is very, very, very disrespectful. Who even are you? you you're not a dad, like. You know? What are you playing out of you, yeah? <laughs> Whatever. I mean, what even is he? Where did he come from? What species is he? I want to know these things. I may just need to lay in the recovery position for about 20 minutes after watching that. And their daughter Emma tries to insert herself into a conversation. Bless her for trying and you just tell her to be quiet. Because your story is so important. I bet it was a shit story as well. And her mother, Rachel, isn't doing anything. I just became the thing I hate most. I hate it when people clap when they talk. You know what I'm saying? Like when someone's angry, they're like, I didn't do anything. It's like an ick of mine. I just became it. Sorry, everybody. Back to the video. So congratulations, Rachel. You are the mother of the year. I have an award for you. It's for being one of the greatest mothers. For sticking up for your daughter. And, you know, really holding your sister and your weird, freakishly strange boyfriend accountable. So, uh, here we go. This is for you. Hang on. It's a bit of a big gift. Turns out I didn't have anything after all. Oh no, I got coffee on my phone. <laughs> Alright, let's read this article together, peeps and popes. These are two almost 40 year old sisters dating the same 23 year old man. They identified as asexual lesbians and the man calls himself their asexual bisexual boyfriend. The one with the green hair has an autistic teenage daughter and often forces her to be in videos, physically grabbing her and forcing her in while she repeatedly tries to walk off. There are many videos of them going on confusing and disturbing rants online, making their daughter read hate comments. This boyfriend being creepy is general and aggressive with the daughter, screaming about how modern women are whiny babies and the Me Too movement is bullshit. There is a very deep rabbit hole. I saw our slash gala sisters was created in the last day or so. They deleted comments and are extremely defensive. They are funny to watch because it's like watching a train wreck, but I'm genuinely so concerned for the daughter. Okay, so I know I said that was an article. My bad. It was a Reddit post. I knew that. I just, I don't know why I said I don't know, right? I've had too much coffee, okay? It's my fifth class today. So as you can see, this guy calls modern women whiny babies. Would you like it if I came to your fucking life and told you what to do? Huh? Would you like that? No? Some of you guys and are shush. acting like entitled little, little children. Now, 
Now. The bloke whines in every single TikTok. He's always got something to say. So as you can see, the main concern that everybody has is the daughter, Emma. And understandable. I mean, these guys are a bunch of freaks. I mean, what, what a household to grow up in. Your mother is in a polyamorous relationship with her sister, your auntie, and a 23-year-old bloke who looks like something out of fucking Lord of the Rings. And second of all, you'd like to think that in the house, uh, their daughter has a good male role model, you know, on how to take care of business. But as you can see, it's not much of a role model. It's not much of anything, really. Just glasses and, and, and hats. Let me have some more of that cough for you. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited. It's the new year. Anyway, let's take a look more into, uh, you know, the role models that she has surrounding her in a bit. Obviously, we will take a look on how they take advantage of Emma. But right now, let's just take a look at their role models, you know, these f three freaks. Let's let's take a look. Why do you shave your armpits? Because he's allergic to his own body hair. Yes. Right? And that sucks that he's allergic to his own body hair. Allergic to his own body, eh? That sounds like a lot of crap to me. What do you what do you think, guys? Is he making things up already? Oh, it's not a great start, is it? You know it probably is, yeah. It's not that he's allergic to his own body hair, it's just he can't grow any. Doesn't have enough testosterone in his body. Let's have a look, Beer. Let's, I'm gonna we're gonna look to see if it's possible. I typed in, can you be allergic to your own body hair? I mean, I feel like an absolute freak typing that in already, but you know, anyway. Our immune system are exposed to the keratin in our own skin and hair continuously, so we can never develop an allergic response to it. Well, there's your answer. He's talking shit, isn't he? I feel like he should hold himself definitely much better than he is right now. <laughs> and what I need to do as well is talk with a bit more of a respectful tone. Don't you agree, ladies and gentlemen? You know, he's sitting there. Woo, woo! Why you I talk like this? I'm allergic to my own body hair! It's just a bit too loud, a bit too noisy, and just a bit, you know, in your face, like, you know. Sorry, did I scare you there? Didn't mean to. I'm gonna have sleep paralysis tonight. I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna see this guy's face at the edge of my bed, and he's gonna be looking at me, and he's gonna be coming after me for the comments I made. So I'm looking forward to that. So now that we've had a look at these freaks, let's have a look at how they treat their poor daughter, Emma. Which, once again, if you don't know, Rachel is the mother. And just look how Rachel really stands up for her daughter. Again, she has autism, she has a speech language disorder, and they just openly point the camera at her. They just you know, bring it into the, the, the scene of the internet, which I don't think is very nice, to be honest. But let's take a look. Come on, pay attention. Hello, look at the camera, please. Thank you. Yeah, pay attention now. Mm -hmm. We're recording, we're working. We're yeah, we are. Playing. We're working. <laughs> working? <laughs> At a fucking bus stop in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> you guys are so delusional. <laughs> this is terrible. Working in a bus stop. Oh, bloody hell, man. Working in a bus stop, man. Hey, it's a fucking cracking place to work, that is. <laughs> oh, I think this video's making me crazy. I'm, I'm losing my marbles over here. <laughs> oh, alright, how are you, eh? Oh, where am I? Well, I'm in my bus stop, and I'm working in my bus stop, man. It's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm working, you know. This is TikTok live in a bus stop, eh? I know we're nice in it. Hey, bloody hell, be worry, but stop, hey. You're putting your daughter on camera, you call that working. Well, that's brilliant. That is fantastic, yeah. Second of all, what, what are you telling her what to do for? You're not her father. You're not a role model. She shouldn't look up to you. Bit of advice for you, buddy. You really need to step up and, you know, I mean, already it's not off to a great start. They're in a po poly, poly ramp, po 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 it's not off to a great start, you know, two sisters with the same bloke. So, you know, I haven't got much to work with you, right? We, we gotta start somewhere, okay? So, let's start with this. First of all, Rachel, you shouldn't even be putting your daughter on camera. You're taking, you're literally taking advantage of her. I just don't think it's right that you're putting your daughter on camera. I, I just don't think it is. I mean, she's clearly, you know, has problems, and yet you openly and willingly post her. So that's not great. And when, you know, your freakishly weird boyfriend and your asshole of a sister is disrespectful to her, you don't say anything. You just sit there, pal. Like, what's all that about? I think you should take your daughter's well-being and mental health more into consideration. And as for this woman, I think you should be looking out for your sister's daughter, you know, your niece. Not telling her to be quiet and to shush when you're telling a lame-ass story that no one cares about. What sort of auntie are you? You kind of suck, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you you do suck. I think you two sisters need to sit down and have a conversation about what's going on and about what, what kind of life you want for your daughter. Because right now, this ain't it. This is not it. Wait. We're working. You're not going to so... do anything today. Are you excited? Yes, no. I'm getting your hair in my mouth. Thank you. <laughs> then move back, pal. Why are you fucking sitting so close to her? I mean, it's not her fault her hair's getting in your face. You sat too close, bud. You know what I'm saying? 
if I'm starting this course as well, you think I'd probably get my hair in your office? Probably. What are you talking about? It's time to go. Jay the Marquis Evans. It's bad. Hang Don't on. worry, kiddo. It's coming soon. Mm -hmm. It's coming soon. That's bad. Okay. Right. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, you know, she asked when is bed going to happen? You know, in other words, when is, can she go to bed? And he says it's coming soon. You, you're literally telling her that she can't go to bed because she has to be on camera. That's what's important, right? I mean, that's what's important. Not her mental health or the amount of sleep she gets, you know? You making her stay up and film these shitty videos of yours? I mean, that's absolutely terrible, you know? Rachel, the mother, what are you doing? I'm doing the clapping thing again. <laughs> what are you doing, Rachel? You know? Why are you involving your daughter in these videos? I mean, she didn't even want to be at the bus stop, clearly. Let me know what you think in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen. Do you agree with this? Have you ever heard of these people before? Because I haven't, you know? So, they, they do have a YouTube channel where they talk about stuff on there. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at their intro. He was jumped by about 15 other children. He was jumped by 15 other children. Sparkles. The Gala Sisters. Yeah. Yeah. Not a very appropriate intro for your channel, is it? Not very appropriate at all. What? Brand manager slash boyfriend, Murder Corpse King. I mean, that's just terrifying, isn't it? What the fuck is that? His nickname is Murder Corpse King. That just sounds like you're trying to be intimidating, but just came across as a 10 year old making an Xbox game attack for the first time. You know, been slaying those pussies in Call of Duty. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but get this, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, the Gala sisters aren't even real sisters. I mean, does that surprise me? Honestly, a little bit. I really thought they were sisters, but I've just seen something now as I'm filming this video. Now, this is the post on Reddit. I'll read it out for you quickly. Confirmed, the Gala sisters are not sisters. I did some research and can confirm they have completely different parents. Rachel's maiden name was Ingram, and she legally changed it to... Gala, m m m m I don't know what that. I don't know what that says. After her divorce in 2018, yes. And if you look at Ria's family members and go to more info, you'll see family members put in her as their niece, cousin, etc. Doesn't have Rachel added in the family section. I found a few that did have Rachel listed, and I'm trying to figure out who their mothers are. Cause so far. They've only confirmed proof that they don't have the same father. Okay, so this might be another rabbit hole to dive into into another video. I mean, depending on what the feedback is like on this video, if you guys want more of it, let me know. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below for the algorithm, and subscribe, because I'm going to be uploading like crazy. Guys, I'm back, okay? I'm back. It's going to be 2019 all over again. I'm back, all right? I think COVID messed me up. <laughs> it took me three or four years to recover. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh. You mad, bro? Uh.